Well, another map that questions our uh, assumptions about North was actually a map that I enjoy telling school teachers about especially. This was a map that was first drawn by a 12-year-old boy f from Australia. His name was Stuart MacArthur. Stuart drew an early version of this map when he was in sixth grade and passed it into his teacher and the teacher said, Stuart, we do this right or you're not going to pass. And he didn't understand why it was that he couldn't have Australia on the top of a map. Well, a few years later, he was 15 years old and he was an exchange student in Japan. And when he got to Japan, he was ridiculed mercilessly by his fellow exchange students from the USA. They taunted him for, com from, for coming from the bottom of the earth. And at that time, when he was 15, he resolved that one day he was going to publish a map of the world with Australia on top. So fast forward six years, he's 21, he's graduating from the University of Melbourne. This is Australia Day in 1979. He published this map that you're looking at, and since that time, it's sold 350,000 copies. Not bad for a kid who was told to do things a different way. An abbreviated version of the caption on that says as follows, at last the first move has been made, the first step in the long overdue crusade to elevate our glorious but neglected nation from the gloomy depths of anonymity in the world power struggle to its rightful position towering over its northern neighbors reigning splendidly at the helm of the universe no longer will the south wallow in a pit of insignificance carrying the north on its shoulders for little or no recognition for her efforts finally south emerges on top south is superior south dominates long live australia ruler of the universe <laughs>